this is as of one hour ago. Uh, complete uh, replacement, machines that were broken and were replaced throughout the day, 308. Uh, and as of one hour ago, there were still 97 ongoing. So the status should be, that was an hour ago, so it should be less by now. And uh, about 60 that in each, uh, they initiated a process of uh, replacement, meaning there was a, uh, a glitch. They called the call center and it couldn't be fixed, so a machine was on its way, but then they canceled because they uh, fixed the issue. That, that those were 60. So all in all, we're talking about 400 machines, more or less. Um, I will give you, of course, a, a more accurate number later. And of course, there could be uh, some machines that will fail during the during the counting or the printing. So those we cannot uh, forget. There, there will be some. Uh, so let's wait for those. But uh, these are very very good numbers. Uh, uh, the the long queues can hardly be attributed to 400 uh, ma machines that had failures throughout the day. Uh, that will be living outside the other 76,000 precincts. Um, so again, the important thing is that we were able to resolve by now 75% uh, of, the, of, the, of those reports. And the, the other 25% uh, is about to be resolved during the next uh, hour. Okay. I would like to reiterate, I cannot overemphasize that there have been some requests for extension of the voting hours. Uh, let's be vigilant now because it's already night time and you know there might be people trying to do you know activities that may thwart the voting process but please again the public should know that even after seven o'clock people the voters can still vote as long as they're within 30 meters of radius of the polling precinct and have their names listed and if their names are listed they can they, they should be called and when they're called they should say I'm present and vote. If you're called three times and you're not there, you lose your chance. Okay.